were assigned to build a sounding rocket, or the Beihang One, but we didn't know how to start at the beginning. There have been rounds of assessment and expert reviews in the design process, so we believed we would definitely make it. However, we failed the first hot fire test. <laughs> The maiden test flight ended in failure. Some circuit boards and electronic components we bought from the Zhongguancun Electronics Market failed to defy the excessive preparation produced during the launch of the rocket. We dug a hole to make way for installing a switch. We turned the switch on before the launch and put it back into the body before we sealed the hole with screws. Such a solution may sound weird to you, but we were getting on track step by step. Those who participated in the design of Beihang 1, Beihang 2, and Beihang 3 have now become our instructors, leading us in developing Beihang 4. They include Mr. Zhang Xiaotian and Mr. Zhu Hao. What they've passed on to us is not only experience and key technology, but also the pioneering spirit. I hope our generation could inherit the spirit and pass it on to future generations. We encountered more challenges and setbacks when developing Beihang 4 than we did in developing Beihang 1, Beihang 2, and Beihang 3. No telemetry signals were detected before the countdown to launch. After the rocket blasts off, we can't do anything more about it. We must succeed. We got up at 3 a.m. and went to the launch site for troubleshooting. We worked until 2 a.m. on the next day. Our team members debated and discussed to get a problem solved. We had a deep understanding of the dedication spirit of the aerospace personnel during the process of developing Beihang 1. So did our students who worked on Beihang 2, Beihang 3, and Beihang 4. It's a spirit of dedication and arduous struggle in making contributions to the national cause and building the country into a space power with a strong national defense. <laughs>